what up what up 420 fantasy hustler back at you got an idp video for you guys and this is where i'm going to be breaking down just a handful of information for anybody new to idp leave some comments if you have some questions i'll do my best to answer if you go to fantasyfootballhustler.com you get to all my links there get into our discord chats place where a lot of questions get answered what is idp individual defensive players so instead of doing team defense and having all the players on the defense and special teams 22 guys mixed in together you're just picking the one you're picking the linebackers like roquan smith tj watt michael parsons some of the best players in the nfl now i've heard a lot of people say that they don't like idp because of previous experiences I'm not going to apologize for bad commissioners out there, but just know IDP is super fun if you get the right settings in there. Like I've heard some people say that IDP didn't make a difference, you know, on their squads. And maybe if you're only playing with like one IDP player, it's probably true. I mean, it's just like a kicker. And if it's default scoring, like team defense scoring is probably going to make it like really lame as well for any form of IDP. So I really recommend using IDP one, two, three scoring. I have a video breaking down the scoring. It's in the description of this sleeper actually adopted IDP one, two, three scoring as their default scoring for IDP. So that's really nice. Shout out to Jordan Reigns who made that happen and the IDP army. So just like when you're talking offense for fantasy football in IDP, you got to know your settings as well. You got to know how many players you can put on your roster, how many starting positions, Got to know the roster construction. How many starting positions for your IDP? Got to know the scoring. Is it balanced scoring? Is it really low scoring just all around? You got to know those kind of things. Usually tackles are king is where it is. And the linebackers of the defense, they're pretty much the running backs of the offense. That's probably the best comparison because those guys are in the mix on almost every single play linebackers go after the running backs. So if you have a middle linebacker or an inside linebacker, there's a good chance that those guys are going to be covering the running backs, racking up a bunch of tackles. I do have ranking videos as well, at least for my linebackers as of this point. So go check that out. Just got to go on my YouTube channel, 420 Fantasy Hustler, and go check that out. You can see who I have in at the top 12, but it's a lot of guys with that tackling fuel. There are some guys like your TJ Watts, your Micah Parsons, who they get a lot of sacks, they get a lot of QB hits, you know, things like that. And they're up there because of how they get to the quarterback and how often they get to the quarterback, how consistent they are at getting to the quarterback. But usually it's the tackles. That's where you can get some kind of consistency. So if I'm just choosing who's the best player that I'm going to go for position-wise, it's always going to be a middle linebacker, the MLB, that Mike linebacker, or... The inside linebackers could be a right inside linebacker, could be a left inside linebacker, but those are the guys who are going to rack up the most tackles. Then it comes down like those outside linebackers, your TJ Watts of the world, your Michael Parsons of the world, the guys who are more or less edge rushers. Those are probably the guys who I'm going to be going after second. That position is kind of like the tight ends where it's pretty top heavy. So it's pretty top heavy and there's kind of like a big gap, you know, between that top tier of guys and then all the other tiers. So that's why I kind of think of them as the tight ends. And that's somewhere I don't want, you never want to punt the defensive line because it gets into pretty gross territory after you get past, you know, the first like 10 or 15. So if you're playing with like multiple defensive line positions, that's just something you don't want to avoid. And then the DBs kind of like the wide receivers. I feel like it's very, very deep at that position. So if there was one position that I'm okay, kind of pushing off, it's probably going to be that because you get a lot of guys who are kind of clumped up together. So you have, a, you have a few types of DBs. You have your strong safeties, which is like your box safeties, you know, your Derwin Jameses of the world. So the box safeties, those are the guys, I mean, they call it the box because they get up in the eight man box, you know, guys who they may mix in a couple sacks. They may get some tackles on some running backs, you know, things like that. They're, they're the thumpers out of the DBs. And then you got the free safeties. That's kind of like the center fielder, you know, last line of defense. Usually those guys are the guys who are going backwards a lot, being the last line of defense for the defense. And you got guys like Justin Simmons, Jesse Bates, you know, to name a few guys who always come up with the crazy amount of tackles, but they're never really going to get any sacks. You know I mean? Maybe they'll mix in a couple interceptions here and there, but it's all about the tackles for those guys. Then you have two types of corners, at least that you can identify very easily. You have the corners that are, you know, on the island, 
you know, the guys who were, I mean, your Patrick Sertans of the world, your Sauce Gardner's of the world, just name a few new guys so you guys know. Those guys, not necessarily the best. I mean, especially if you're more of like a shutdown corner, you might not get that many opportunities. And usually those kind of cornerbacks, I mean, unless they're, it, it's like a random scheme play, they're usually just playing man on man with the wide receiver that they're covering. I mean, those guys are so good that usually they put them kind of on the island, you know, going one on one with uh, whatever wide receivers on that side. The guys who you really want, those nickel cornerbacks, those slot cornerbacks, and a guy like Kenny Moore number one DB in the entire league. And no one's played more slot coverage snaps than he has in the past, like four years. So those are the kind of guys that you want. The guys who are going to be getting those wide receivers who are going over the middle and then just being a tackling machine. So Kenny Moore, someone who he doesn't get drafted usually as like a top DB, like especially not like top five, top 10, but because of the amount of work that he gets, he's probably going to finish inside the top 10 again. So those are the kind of positions, you know, and how they break down a little bit, but let's talk about when you should be drafting some of these guys. Now, again, you have to know your settings. How many roster spots does the IDP have? How many compared to the offensive spots? Because normally what I see in a lot of these drafts, people will fill up their offensive spots and then they'll just start going deep. Let's say you have like seven starters on offense. You, you got to know that around like the seventh, eighth, ninth round, that defense is going to start going off because some people literally just fill up their starters and then they'll start going defense and just going down the list. Now, if you play in leagues where the defense, maybe you have a bunch of defensive spots, maybe there's like nine or 10, you know, defensive starters. You may get some of these defensive guys going early, third, fourth, fifth round. In a lot of the leagues that I'm doing, we see the defensive players, especially in these dynasty leagues, they're going in like, the fifth to the seventh round is where like, it's all getting kicked off. You know, your Micah Parsons and TJ Watts of the world, then Roquan Smith, Darius Leonard, Jordan Brooks, you know, to name a few, you got to know your room. If you play on sleeper guys like Micah Parsons, guys like TJ Watt, they have the dual eligibility where you can plug them in as a linebacker or as a defensive lineman. Those guys usually go first because of the defensive line eligibility. It's kind of like a cheat code that you're able to do there. So TJ Watt, he's someone that you want. You're going to have to jump for him. You want Michael Parsons, you're going to have to jump for him. You got to know the room. If your league is brand new to IDP, I would just say, don't even draft an IDP player first. Like let someone else do it. And then you just be water. You know, once the first IDP player goes off, if a couple other go, then you better get in the mix. And if, and if you know that someone could have all their offensive starters already filled, you better get ready to get in the mix if you want one of those top guys. So I just wanted to make an IDP video just to kind of uh, put myself on the map for new players out there. Not a lot of people do IDP content. I'm one of those few that really make sure to integrate it along with the offensive comments. So if you're looking for IDP leagues as well, I'm going to be having a bunch of those getting going. To get into the crew, you got to go to patreon.com slash ffhustler420. You go there, you get in, and you're going to be able to reserve your spot in multiple leagues that I'm going to be starting. So if you're looking for a fantasy crew, I got the best one for you. It's patreon.com slash ffhustler420. Come join the crew. You get into Discord. You get one-on-one -on -one advice from me. I'm starting leagues. This is one of the most interactive fantasy communities around because I don't just start leagues and talk about leagues. I mean, I get everybody into leagues with me. That's one of the cool things that we do in this community. So join up now. You are going to love it. Let's get down to biz. Thanks for joining. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't, shame on you. But go ahead and do that right now. If you're watching this anywhere other than YouTube, Hop over to YouTube, type in 420 Fantasy Hustler, and go subscribe. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you next video. Defense on me. I don't want them to gain another yard. You blitz all night. If they cross the line of scrimmage, I'm going to take every last one of you out. You make sure they remember forever the night they played the Titans. Oh, here comes the, 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 oh,